Toastmaster Mehar Tanvi. <coughs> me and the mountain. Me and the mountain. Toastmaster Mehar Tanvi. Click, zip, click, clack, zip. Zara, the assistant, sped rapidly around me, twisting and piecing together a rat's nest of ropes, buckles, hooks, and clasps, leaving me strapped, wrapped, and trapped. A picture of confusion at my first paragliding experience. Satisfied with her work, Zara smiled at me. Okay, Meher, you're ready. Ready? Me? Really? Contest chair, Toastmasters, and friends. So here I was, at the mountain. A part of me felt exhilarated, but the other part was sinking fast, drowning in the dark chambers of my beating heart. Don't do it, Mayor! Don't do it! I turned to see my sister pleading with me. The mountain, it beckoned to me, tempting me, as if daring me. And I took a step forward to the edge. Would I or wouldn't I? Jump! Stop right there! I pivoted to see my instructor gesturing furiously. What are you trying to do, miss? Make me lose my job? Look at the flag! I turned to see the limp and lifeless flag at the jumping point. Oh, yeah! There was no wind yet. Oops. Come round here, Miss Stem and my God! Amateurs! Now listen up, people. Check the flag and wait for my signal. Stick to the plan. When Miss Mayor here will be going first, as she's so eager to try. <laughs> Who? Me? But I was just looking. I was just take your positions, Miss. I scowled at the instructor and I the mountain. Tremblingly. Just then, a breeze rose up, ruffling my parachute. The wind picked up two, five, then ten miles per hour. And this time, the flag fluttered ferociously in the powerful gust of air. There was no mistaking it now. It was time to jump. But I froze. I couldn't move a muscle. Oh, come on now, miss. Now's the time. Here's your chance. I looked ahead. The view before me was perfect. It was a beautiful rustic landscape. The kind of see in art galleries of Monet and Van Gogh's paintings. I longed to glide over the treetops, light as a feather and free as a cloud. But my fear had clouded everything, and all I saw were shades of gray. Oh, what was happening? Where was my courage? A minute ago, I had stood right there, ready to take the plunge. I looked wistfully up at the mountain. You win, my friend. You win. And I turned to walk away. But wait! What was that? Against the sun, I saw a rising silhouette. An eagle had taken flight from his perch on the hill and flew above me, watching me higher and higher. Oh, how I envied its freedom, its calm self surety, its quiet confidence, how it embraced its destiny and danced with the wind. What was stopping me? I was prepared, I had trained well, I had done all that was required. And then, that's when it hit me. I was ready. All I needed was my self-belief. And I looked at the mountain with new eyes. It was I who had seen it fearfully, whereas all it was really there for was to show me how high I could fly, to be the perch from which I could reach, 
the stars and the sky. So I heaved and I hoed and I ran to the edge and I jumped and I flew, flew past the eagles, flew past the peaks and I finally saw all the colors, trees and olive mint and sage green, rolling fields and rivers and far ahead the orange and ochre horizon. And when I hit the ground running, I felt a transformation. I had conquered my fears, and I had conquered the mountain. My dear friends, we all have such a mountain in our lives, don't we? That sense of inadequacy, that stops us from living our dreams. Maybe it's a difficult boss who tells you, you're not good enough. Or maybe it's a toxic relationship where you don't feel loved enough. Or maybe it's those years of self-criticism that haunt and plague and ploy us, telling us you'll never be enough. But my friends, you are enough and you do shine more than you know. So I urge you all to dust off your forgotten dreams. Prepare meticulously, harness your strengths, and when the moment arrives, take that leap of faith. For as the poet Dylan Thomas has rightly said, do not go gently into that good night. Rage, rage, rage against the dying of the light. So fight for your dreams with unwavering resolve. These challenges are here to be surmounted, to catalyze the power that burns bright inside you. May you conquer every mountain in your life. Here's to you, my friends, and your mountains. Contest Jim.